Hey guys, this video is to show you how to upload your data into uh, Cargo. So the Cargo is basically another programming environment. It has the Python, Jupyter Python embedded in it. So this is a project I already run. So I'm going to start a new project from the scratch because that will be your case. Uh, when I create a project here, so go to the new notebook. And then when you have your new notebook, you basically come to your right side here. Uh, what I could do, I could basically import my NOPI patterns and other um, files uh, by basically running the um, conventional files that are already included here. I will run that. So once I've done that, I can then upload my data or I could upload my data without running this at all. So to upload your data to Cargo, you basically come to the right side of your uh, screen. So right here, you could find here and add input or upload the input. So you could, if you are using data that is already in the uh, GitHub, then that is fine. You could use this add input and basically search the data source you are looking for. Now, if you are uploading data from your computer, you have to go to the upload. When you click on the upload here, you choose create new data set. So when I click on that, um, there are multiple options I have. If I have the data set in my, um, from a website I want to import, then I could use the remote URL. If I want to import from GitHub, you could use the option I showed you previously, or you could use this option here. Or if you want to import data from your Google Cloud, then you could use this function here. The other option is this uh, notebook output. So I've not used this, so I don't really bother about this. So if I want to upload from my computer, I have to use this uh, upload file here. Now, there's a trouble when you upload from your computer because you're not going to find the file once you upload it. So I'm going to show you how you could find the file. Now, uh, I'm just going to drag and drop. So either way will be, will be fine. If you either import using the manual options or you drag and drop. So this is data that I'm not really using. So I upload this data here. And the next thing I have to do, or uh, before I upload the data, you could create a name for the data set. So basically I'll call this um, generative AI, generative AI not in use. Right, so once I've done that, then I come to create. It takes a few seconds and that is created. So your data set is um, success successfully uploaded and I can close this. Now to find my data set will be another challenge because you can't see the data set here. So that is the difficult part of it, right? So, okay, so this one does appear here. But if you don't see the data set right here, what you could do is to go to the um, add input and then basically search um, the data set name you just included. So before I show you how to do that, I want to make my data set as unique as possible so that I can easily search for the name. So basically I call it the data the generative AI not in use. So go back to the input at the to the input and search for generative AI not in use. So you could see that is the first item I have here and I could basically add this. Okay, so this is just a simple process on how to add your data to Kaggle. So Kaggle. So the other thing I did tell you is this: when you upload your data, especially when it has to do with uh, corporate data, it's confidential. So when you upload the data, when I go back to the last to the earlier process, just going to close this up and they add input. All uh, right, take this off and uh, choose data set. Um, now you could say use your work. I don't have anyone here. Maybe I want to add another work. Um, let's see how we could get that. So we cross this and then uh, we say upload. Okay, the same uh, process we used earlier upload. 
and then I could browse here and say, okay, this is the data and I want to upload. I'm going to use that, upload this data from here. So when you are in this situation here, when you upload your data here, and why you write your name, I uh, don't upload. That's the name, I'm not going to upload that. So right here in the visibility, always remember to change the data set to be private. Otherwise, this data set will be accessible to all data scientists or to the public who may want to make use of your data. So when I click on this draw that arrow here, I could choose public. Generally, uh, the cargo comes as a private, uh, the default setting for the cargo is private setting. But if that shows public, what you should do is to choose private instead and upload your data. What that means is that you will be the only one to see the data you uploaded and be able to assess the data from uh, the search which we did here earlier. And I hope this will be able to help you to solve the problems with data upload or finding the data you have already already uploaded. Just once again, the process is you go to add, if you can find the data here, you go to add input, and then you search for the data name that you created as at the time you uploaded the data.